Hello everyone, my name is Matt and today I will be providing a more in-depth look on the user settings feature inside OneCall Access. This video will only be covering specific features within the OneCall Access system. Due to this, we will be skipping over some portions of the OneCall Access program. We have a video on our YouTube page that provides a more comprehensive look at the OneCall Access program. If you would like more information about how to use the program to create and manage your tickets, we recommend watching that video first. I'll include a link to that video in the video description below. As an excavator, it may be common for you to perform similar types of work on the excavation projects you work on. In those cases, creating tickets from scratch for each project can become a bit tedious. The OneCall Access system allows you, as an excavator, to set custom presets when creating tickets. This feature can be used to help speed up the ticket creation process by automatically filling in certain pieces of information when you start a new ticket. To set up your custom ticket presets, click on the User Settings button in the top right-hand corner of the window. This will open a side menu that displays a specific set of questions we ask when creating a new ticket. Keep in mind that not every question we ask will be included in this preset menu. The information you select here will then be automatically added to any new ticket you create. You'll notice that work type and work activity are initially grayed out and inaccessible. You will first need to select a ticket type and then the work type to open up all the fields for editing. Let's say that I'm a residential landscape company. I'll select the normal ticket option since I always contact 811 at least two working days before the job. I'll also select residential property work and then landscaping, irrigation, drainage work, since that's the work that I typically do. You do not need to select an answer for all the information listed on screen. Any fields you leave blank will remain blank on your new ticket. Once you're satisfied with your selections, click the save icon to save the changes. Now let me show you what this will look like on a new ticket. As I open a new ticket, you'll notice that the fields I selected in my user settings are now selected on my new ticket. This feature will help me to save time and move through the ticket creation process more quickly. It's also important to note that the information provided in these fields are not locked in. So if a specific aspect of your excavation project is changed, you can easily select a different option in any of the automatically filled in fields. In this case, I'm going to install a mailbox, which I don't do very often. So I'll select Yard, Deck, Mailbox, Playground, Pole, Lighting, etc. Now I can quickly move on to the mapping and dig site location portion of my ticket. You can change your ticket presets anytime by clicking on the user settings option on the home screen. If you have any questions or concerns regarding user settings, please reach out to our web operations department at weboperations at usan.org.